And I just want to show you some great ideas that you can do with this fabulous marbleized paper. Um, and uh, don't you love the paper? Yeah, it's fantastic. It's uh, Stephanie is just in just enthralled with marbleized paper. Yeah, yeah. Everything's going to be everything's going to be marbleized know, in your house. Bobby's so, gonna come home. so you can make beautiful mats for your um, botanicals. Uh, and they really show off prints and uh, botanicals like this. You can make, in the magazine, Martha Stewart Living, we had a lot of ideas, and this is one of them, a little notebook that you can give as a gift. Uh, again, uh, taking, we took a lot of, um, of uh, lessons from the great Florentines because they, they make all these things, paper, the pencils that are marbleized, oh, yeah. you know, and they have the beautiful, these, these. are our magazine are racks great. that we marbleized. Now we marbleized the actual racks themselves. Uh, oh, you did? It's not paper, paper, is it? No, we just dipped them right in. Oh, so you wow. can dip wood into the material uh, as well as paper. Uh, any kind of smooth surface will mm -hmm. uh, take the color and the patterning. So all of these are great. Oh, and here's for your... Marbleized John yeah, Stewart. Here's John Stewart <laughs> with his, with his giant-sized Oscar. He'll be on. So come, let me show you how to make um, a mat. This is a mat for a botanical print. Okay. And this is going to fit right around a, a fern like okay. this is a piece of our marbleized paper and it's already been sprayed with um, this lovely uh, photo mount this is a spray adhesive and you have to spray it feel how tacky it is yeah um, you have to spray it a little while before maybe 30 minutes before that and far? Yeah, really? and you know, it can just, it'll just settle and get wow. ready to, now, affix, otherwise it's too wet. Mm -hmm. uh, we've already marked very carefully where this should be mounted. Just follow the little lines. Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> My glasses, and so I'm going to be very close oh, to Oh, okay. <laughs> so now just really press down, and you can use the little bone folder yeah. to uh, really press down so there are no... This is so fun. ...empty spaces. We've cut, um, marked a rectangle in the center. We don't want to waste that. So we're going to cut that out with a exacto knife. Okay. You can use a ruler if you like. You can't do this um, on a plane, I guess. Well, you could. <laughs> you could. Oh. I, I would. I mean, which, you, know, right. you can take your craft projects with you anywhere, and you can just cut this out. Okay. And oh, then, am I cutting the wrong? Yeah, yeah, cut, yeah, yeah, cut, yeah. cut uh, yeah, just the. And then you can do something clever with the center. Oh, yeah, you can make a yeah. note card out of it, or, you know, whatever you want. And again, look what we're cutting on. We're cutting on one of those self-healing uh, surfaces, oh, yeah, which yeah, you yeah. must get because you're not allowed to cut on your dining room table and, no. and uh, your kitchen for mica, whatever. just no. doesn't work very I've well. I've turned into my mother. I would be, I would freak out at myself for doing if that. If you did such yeah. a thing. So now you can lift that little rectangle out. Um, once it dries, it's fine. You can use it again. But you can put it right here on a pretty card. Oh, I didn't do a very good job cutting. Let's see. Well, you did fine. Yeah. Now, take your uh, knife and cut s just the corners, corner to corner. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> yeah, you have to make sure you don't miss anything. I like the understudy over here. Yeah, well, that's okay. You're just learning, and that's just fine. And you turn it... Um, you know, what are you... Are you sort of... Is I'm that cutting mitering? cornered. Yes, mitering. You're okay. mitering the corners. Mitering You're exactly the corners. right. So you and then you fold this back. Oh, 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 this is See, looks and make sure you make a clean fold. And again, use your bone folder. This is an old fashioned tool, generally made out of marble or bone. Uh, and you can just uh, do the whole it's thing. Handy. You use these a lot, don't you? Oh, I, all the time. For folding, especially. It just gives you that clean edge. We have one that's already pretty much done <laughs> Thank over God. here. Yeah. <laughs> you can, oh, you still haven't gotten I'm it still, out. I'm, I'm so Don't rip it. Don't yeah. tear it. Don't, because you don't want to waste that. Just, no, I don't. I want to be able to use it. Cut there. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Hey. I think maybe you were using the wrong side of the knife. <laughs> you might have been. I did need my glasses. I might have mentioned that earlier. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, well, you can, no, it's okay. you can always wear your glasses on our show. Next time. There, let's just take that out. It really okay. is so pretty. So you, you have, a, you have a swap out. You'll cut yeah. those corners. Uh, you can do that a little later. This looks like it's been hand-ripped, which is very nice. It's very pretty. It's my technique. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. So here's your mat. Look how great yeah, that, that looks. Yeah, that is really pretty. And um, you can uh, use a beautiful frame. You can put your mat down into the frame, mm -hmm. put your botanical, and this is, guess what? This is a color Xerox of a plate is from a beautiful really? book. So you can make multiples of these and give them as gifts. No one can tell the difference between the real engraving uh -uh. or watercolor and the facsimile that you make on the color printer. It's really a great way to utilize a beautiful thing. And this way, too, you don't have to cut up those beautiful botanical books if you collect. So we put that in. 
because I'm against that. I'm against buying books just to cut just them to up. Just to cut them up. Yeah, yeah. it's a kind no, of. I really am. So this fits right in here somehow. Some, yeah. Some place. I put it in somewhere. Right. Anyway, just make believe it's all set in, and there you have a gorgeous. It looks great. Yeah. Isn't that great? Yeah, it looks great. It's really pretty. As a present, here we gave oh, you, no. and I think this goes with some fabric that you're using for it your does. new decoration. It yes, does. So thank you. That's so for much. you, Bobby and Stephanie in this picture. So nice. thanks. <laughs> well, thanks very much for coming. Conviction premieres tonight on NBC. We'll be right back.